What's good? What's good? This is Stiko. This is Stiko the podcast. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. It means a lot. You know, it's been um, it's been it's been some changes happening, you know. And then um, the one thing about life that you have to make sure be able to adapt to the change, you know. Some things probably won't go the way you plan them, so you gotta adjust. And hopefully, the changes that you make. You subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what it is, man. Come on now, man. This is Steak of the Podcast. Subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, press like. Also, drop a comment. You know I ain't have with me, gente. Also, share this video. Look, stop playing. Stop what you're doing. You, look, forget about what you read on the title. Just share this video. Hit the notification bell so you get notified. And let's, let's just jump into this one, man. Uh -uh. So, Fat Joe. You know, Joey Crack, the last Don. Is he the last real one in hip hop? Ask yourself for a second. So I was watching this interview, right? This interview with Matt Hoffa, the battle rapper. Uh, he has his own podcast at the barbershop. And, and one thing that I noticed, yesterday's price ain't today's price. <laughs> Yo, I've been wanting to say that for a second. I can't even lie to y'all, you know, man. The way the way Fat Joe said that by Jay the Kids, yo, come on, man. Now, one of the things is that watching this interview, listening to this interview, we might be looking at Fat Joe very underrated. The people he put on, the things he didn't accomplish, the history. Just think about how many generations of hip-hop has he been involved in. We talking about the era where Biggie and Tupac, then the pun, then the, you know, Atlanta. I mean, he's been around, yo. And then I started thinking to myself, like, anybody that could have that kind of career and still be relevant to this day, it, 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 it deserves its flowers now. Don't we ain't gonna wait until something happens to Fat Joe. We we gonna we gonna give him his flowers now. You know the hits, the records, the fact that he's able to change. Like you know how hard it is for an artist that's a little bit older in the game and just adapt to the change and still be relevant. He talks about respecting the youth and um, advising the youth, right? Like the conversation he had with 6 9 look, it's unfortunate that 6 9 didn't take some of what Fat Joe gave him, the knowledge, some of the things that potentially could have elevated him to another level. And look, when you really think about it, he didn't have to do that. He chose to do that because he saw talent in some kind of way, right? He saw something that he said, you know what? Let me talk to this kid. So... Some of the things that, even with the fashion thing, right? Like he talks about um, the Kanye West boots, right? The, the, the infamous, that's probably going to be the picture of the, <laughs> that's probably going to be the picture of the, of, the, of the thumbnail, man. Him wearing the boots. But it's the fact that he said, like, I think he said something in an interview, like people were telling him, dress your age. What does that mean? What does that mean, dress your age? I mean, the man has been a trendsetter, even in good or bad, right? Even if you don't like it, it don't matter. At the end of the day, he's going to do what Fat Joe's going to do. And I think that's what we're missing in hip hop. We are so caught up in the fact that we got to be certain ways. We got to act a certain way. He talked about the fact when he squashed beef with 50 Cent. Powerful. Because, you know, the way that was going, ain't no telling what would have happened. Because 50 ain't the type to back down. And Fat Joe don't look like the type to back down. And um, just to watch them squash the beef and, you know, continue their own legacy in the hip-hop community, I really do feel like Fat Joe don't get enough credit. I think that he has done a lot. He done presented some artists that we fell in love with. Big Pun, just to name him, like, just to... Be part of that, that terror squad movement at one time. And what I mean by be, be part of it, that doesn't mean I was physically terror squad, you know, it was TS. No, I'm saying like, you, we got a chance to see something. It, 
in the Latin community, you don't get to see that that much. Like Latinos getting together and very talented artists within the label and they're down for whatever. It, it's, it's amazing. But one thing that I took from Fat Joe is that it's the growth. It's the fact that he made the right decisions at the right time. And some probably he didn't make them at the right time, but he learned from it. And you could learn a lot from it. Because I know on my previous one, I talked about Soldier Boy saying they ain't no OGs. Fat Joe's an OG in the game and giving a lot of advice, a lot of good things to the youth. And then, like I said before, it's up to the youth to actually take it and say, you know what, I want to take it to that level and then hopefully I won't get caught up in the BS. Because it's not a win-win situation, right? You make it in the game, people are gonna say, oh, he ain't real no more, he ain't with us no more. Or you could bring him with you, or they could still be, you know, it's, 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 the game is, is corrupted. So you gotta know how to move. So you gotta respect Fat Joe, man. Like from the records that he done made, from the fashion, from the, from the things he talks about, he is one of the last ones in the game to still be educating the youth, showing them the way. And um, we could take a lot from that, man. A lot of people don't want to get credit where credit is due. And sometimes you just got to give credit where credit is due. And Fat Joe, we salute you, man. We're right here, Ride the Die, man. This is Steve with the podcast. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what y'all have to do, man. Come on now. Don't waste no time. Look, I paused the video for a second. Look, pretty face, baby. Oh, 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 swag that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, man. Subscribe to the channel. Press like if you like what you see. Share the video. Also, drop a comment because you know I engage with my people. Is that how you say it? Well, I ain't gonna act with my people. Uh, with me, Henton. Also, hit the notification bell to get notified. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith. And never give up. All right. One.